What's up guys? Welcome back to the Fox Hall Review. You know, it's really, really cold in Alabama right now. You know, you can put as many layers on in the wintertime and still be warm. But in the summertime, mm, you can be butt naked and still be hot. All right, so for today's review, we are going to review Cirque Saw Technologies Skate Plate Sidewinder. The Skate Plate Sidewinder is a nifty little apparatus that attaches to your seven and a quarter inch circular saw. But what makes this product different is that it uses roller skates to glide across the material, making your cut smooth and effortless. It's kind of like going to the skating rink with the friends back in the day. You know, while they're on the skating rink breaking ankles, I'm in the arcade playing Street Fighter 2 and dominating kids. Well, you know what? Joke's on them because every time it rains, their ankle hurts. <laughs> Cirque Saw Technologies reached out to me on Instagram after they watched my review for the Craig Track Saw and they sent me this unit. Like I told them, I'm going to give my honest opinion on this product. I've had never seen it before and this is the first unboxing for it. By the way, this is not a sponsored video. These are my opinions and my opinions alone. We are going to review the Sidewinder model that comes with a skate guide combo kit. This model is for your standard seven and a quarter inch circular saw. They also offer a worm drive saw version as the plate's a little bit different, but it works the same way. Also, they offer a water hose attachment that basically turns your circular saw into a wet saw to cut concrete, tile, and brick. I also noticed on their website that they have replacement parts readily available. This is really nice because everybody knows when you try to replace a part on one of your tools, you got to call the company and they're going to put you through the ringer and jump through a bunch of hoops and nine times out of ten they send you the wrong part. So it's nice to know that they are readily available on their website. I will also have a discount code in the description below plus all the links to purchase each product. Okay, let's go ahead and see what we have in the package. First off, you're going to get a bag full of hardware. This has all the brackets, mounting screws, and whatnot. Next, you're going to get the skate guide fence. This has the rollers that will glide along the side of the sheet goods. And then there's a handle for the fence, plus you have the extension bar for the skate guide. And last, the actual plate itself. This plate is made out of glass-filled nylon, so it is very, very durable and very light. And on the bottom of the plate, you can see the long rollers that glide on top of the sheet goods. Okay, we're gonna start off by assembling the skate guide first. We pay attention to the orientations of the holes here. Um, I, I kind of fiddled with this for a minute until I actually read the instruction booklet. But the square hole is actually for the handle. So go ahead and screw in the fence to the guide rail. Next, attach the handle to the guide fence. This screw has an, a square underside to it, so it will engage the square hole. Then go ahead and tighten down the handle. This bracket actually slides very well. I mean, it's, the little rollers are pretty slick on the bottom of it. Next thing we're going to do is install the brackets that holds down the back of your saw. Be very careful with this operation because each bracket has an indention on the back, which is going to cause some friction. So make sure your hand's clear of the back of it when you push it in. Next, install the thumb screws lightly so they are in place. Next, we're going to slide all the brackets back as far as they go, and then we're going to tighten down the screws. We'll adjust these later when we install the saw. All right, it's time to install the saw onto the plate. I have a Milwaukee M18. It's a fairly new saw, and the plate is actually long, so had a bit of an issue trying to get it in there, but I finally got it to go in. Uh, my plate's long enough where I don't have to adjust the brackets. All right, once you get the saw in, we have to align it. So we're going to pull it all the way to the right, and then we're going to push it all the way forward, and then we're going to lock down the front bolt. And after the front bolt is locked, we're going to adjust the brackets in the back and lock them down as well. And next, we're going to install the skate guide into the plate. Just slide the bar into the two slots and then we're going to lock it down with a thumb screw. Okay, I'm going to cut a couple of pieces of strips of plywood from this oak plywood. So simply just put the skate plate on there and put the guide fence up against the edge of the plywood and make your cut. This thing is incredibly smooth and fast. All right, next I'm going to cut a bunch of stretchers from this piece of plywood. I have a cabinet project coming up and let's see how fast we can do it. 
I just cut about nine strips of plywood in about 45 seconds, and that's some serious speed right there. One of the problems I have with this product is that it does not have a measuring guide for repeatable cuts. So I'm going to do a proof of concept and add a pill and stick measuring tape to the guide itself. The proof of concept was proven, but however, when you do this, measure from the roller to the blade, not to the blade to the outside of the plate, because I mismeasured, and now I have to go get more tape. Okay, let's go over some pros and cons. The first pro we have is that it is very well built with the glass filled nylon. It makes it super sturdy, but yet it's also very light. The polyurethane roller skates make the plate glide over the sheet materials very well. With the roller skates, it makes it very straight and very accurate. The product is also very easy to assemble. It also fits most circular saws on the market today. Their website offers a lot of replacement parts. The wet saw attachment. They also offer a extended guide called the Skatezilla, it's cute, which lets you break down plywood in half. All right, so there's only really one con to this product, and that is that it does not come with any kind of measuring guide for repeatable cuts. However, I did find out that you can put some pill and stick measuring tape on the unit itself, and it will slide in and out very easily. But make sure you measure it right. <laughs> Overall, I'm gonna give this product a nine out of 10. I really, really like it. The product is very well built. The skate wheels glide very smoothly and very straight. All the cuts that I made with the plate were very straight and very accurate. They also offer a lot of accessories and parts on their website, like the extension and the water hose attachment to turn the circ saw into a wet saw. However, the only downfall I see with this is that it doesn't have a measuring tape on it. So I can see this product working very well for the construction trade, but uh, it might be a little troublesome for a DIYer that uh, doesn't have a lot of experience without the measuring tape. Thank you guys for watching. If you like what you see in this review, consider subscribing. Uh, hit that notification bell so you can get some notifications on my next videos. And pound that like button like it stole something. Also remember the discount codes in the link in the description below. I will also have links for all the products you see in this video. Thank you guys. Cheers.